copy another topic which is copying customer master data to other company codes okay remember we see how uh, how um, a same customer code can be shared among other company codes within a group so let's say you have thousands of customers customer codes created at the company headquarters level if it's only one or two customer codes then you can manually create them for each and every company code but if you have thousands of company codes which you which is created in the US headquarters and uh, which supposed to be copied across India China and Japan company codes we can't be doing it manually right so we need a automated method to do so so SAP has provided an automating method we will see that now okay this the one this function can be used for that purpose let me pause it until it loads okay, load it. okay what we are going to do now is we will create a customer and see how it can be copied to other company codes using this automated function okay let me pause it until it loads okay it has loaded create customers we will create it in the HQ which is test US company code Okay, test customer. All right, now let me just put GB London. Now I'll save it. So this company code will be created uh, in, in the US. US company code. take a while let me just pause it okay now it has created 500010 has been created for company code test let's assume this our US company code is this test company code test okay now this company code will not exist in just copy this test 2 right because you haven't created it see has not been created for company code test 2 alright you know the manual way how to create it you just go here and copy paste the company code and change the company code to test 2 and click uh, ok and it will be created for company code test 2 once you save I am not going to save it it is the manual way of creating it we will see the automated way using this option here company code send customer just enter the customer code just key in the company code that means you are going to copy from uh, this company code this is the customer number that you are going to copy and it will be copied to target company code test 2 to test 4 ok you want to copy from this company code to all these companies or you can also uh, enter an individual value here it's better to enter an individual value or you can enter the range test 2 to test 4 just put here as 
branch input session name just put here as uh, anything that you like we just put uh, company sorry customer creation so I'll explain what is that uh, batch input session later okay when you uh, execute now the system will create these customers in a temporary storage called batch input session so you have to go once you this is created you have to go to this screen here SM35 SM35 and where you can see all the uh, batch input sessions which are created this is one of it it's not created yet that's why it's not listed here if it's created then it will be listed here so you have to come here and execute this batch input session in order to complete the creation I'll show you how okay execute now okay when you execute now the company code will not be created I mean sorry the customer will not be created in these companies it will be written to a temporary storage which is this session name okay then you have to run this session name in order to create the company code see batch input session cast is being created it's already created let me just prove to you that the customer is not created yet FD03 the customer is not created yet you see this okay even though this thing is uh, finished executed it is not created yet because it's only written to a temporary storage which is the batch input session cast let me go to SM35 this is where all the created batch input session will be stored it's not shown here because you have to refresh it fresh button here so let us quit and come back see this is something like a refresh the session name can be seen here once you execute this then the customer will be created for uh, company code test 2 let's execute now click process we want to execute once again you have to click you have to select the line you'll see a lot of sessions right please do not execute other sessions that's very dangerous you have to uh, highlight the session that is created by your uh, by your screen the previous screen here Where is it okay here All right I have highlighted it then press process you'll get some uh, options here you choose this option here display errors only we have a special session called LSMW let me write here it is called LSMW later on during which we will see more about this SM35 screen for now just bear in mind you just uh, select this display errors during the LSMW session I will explain what is these options are for that will be a detailed session on SM35. Just process. So in the background, the system is creating the customer codes for the companies that you selected. Click this. It's finished. See, you see this sign here is processed. This means uh, it's successfully processed. If it's uh, if the errors, you'll see this sign here. Okay, this sign here over here. So you need to investigate what is the errors all about. But in this case, it has been successfully executed. So you see a check mark. So now let us go to our display customer. Now let me see whether it's created. Yeah, it's loading. Looks like it's created. See, it is created. The customer copied from our US company code test okay let me pause something okay now bear in mind that uh, I selected a range of companies to create right see test 2 to test 4 so you have checked in test 2 that is there now let us go to test 3 now 
it should have been created because this falls under the range under this range test 2 to test 4 see is there same company code sorry same customer code go to the fourth one it is there all right so this is easy right instead of creating one by one you can use this option it's very good to create the customer in all the company codes just remember that once again let me show you the menu path over here all right uh, there are some further selections that we want to uh, if we don't want to copy the deletion flags and block indicators you can just remove the check mark but normally we will select all okay and this date here is to uh, to tell the system from which date onwards you want to uh, select the information that means if you if you don't want to uh, copy some uh, information which is maintained for this customer uh, from a particular date backwards you just use this date to enter from which date onwards that you want to co copy so any data which is updated before that date for that customer will not be copied over all right normally we'll put put this for, uh, for the current date Okay.